An earth shake is upon us, not an earthquake, an earth shake. Surely the Japanese military will... What are we gonna do? Shoot the fucking ground? It's an earthquake, it's a natural disaster. What? Maybe we have like different infrastructure. There's like, I don't know, our building should be like earth shake proof or some stuff. I don't fucking know it, but we can't just shoot the ground, right? Let's begin today's reaction. The rumbling, the shakening. All these fragile buildings, that's not earthquake proof. Look at these barbarians. Hardy again, Hardy. Hardy, call your anger, remember Hardy? Uh, Roy Mercury? Oh, it's like a four or a five out of the fucking Richter scale, bro. You, yo, we're so used to earthquakes in Japan. Like, this shit don't fucking matter. Wait, the ground is moving a little bit, bro. What are you fucking talking about? Wait till you see that a fucking tsunami. What, is the tsunami going to also hit this place? And then, and then, and then the Japanese military is going to be just like, like a scuba gear. They're just ready to fucking swim. Well, it's not so bad. We can fucking swim in this tsunami. We're so used to it. <laughs> They don't know like a scientific reasoning, right? They don't, right? They don't understand. That's why they're so fucking scared. Like, what the fuck would these people know about an epicenter, right? Seismic, you know, fucking waves. Where's dad? Dad? Tuka, your dad just died from the earth shake, Tuka. Yeah, for a bit. Nah, fuck your dad. He cares about her dad a lot, huh? Yeah, show up with guns. Assassinate the emperor. Yeah, you gonna take responsibility? <laughs> stay with me, stay with- Don't let Rory hear that! Oh. <laughs> the other guy- I think guards in the back are like, hmm. This isn't romance, dude. Riz? This is not Riz. She's fucking scared for her goddamn Well... It's like... Very scary place. And you want someone that you trust them to be there with you to feel protected and secured. You're right, this is risk. Never mind. No, 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 no. This, 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 I mean, it's not purely out of love, but it's like, she trusts us a lot. <laughs> Dependent Riz. <laughs> Do your fucking job, you shitty ass guards! Alright, what's the Emperor doing? The Emperor pretty much is a Mao, dude! Demon King! He pretty much is! He's like the final, you know, villain here. What's up, bro? I said the rest of the siblings don't give a fuck about the, the dad. Is, is this kind of like implying like like the uh, seven siblings, right? She's the seventh princess, but there's also like um what's the word? Seventh princess implies that there are seven princesses in total, and then there's additional princes, right? Or maybe she's the seventh. You know, a sibling, the seventh offspring. I'm not really sure about that, but of the siblings, like, no one really gives a fuck about that, huh? Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them, honestly. What? They all got broom helmets. Got a leadership? <laughs> Ordering people around? Yeah. No. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the? You can become bloody good. What the fuck was this? What the fuck was this? You become bloody good. Like you become pretty goddamn good, huh? I'm not bleeding. Anyways, <laughs> what did the dad think after that? The dad's like, <laughs> yeah, she is fucking stupid. I forgot. Anyways. They're the green people. Because she was scared. <laughs> she was scared to go to the bathroom alone. So she's like, Itami, please come with me. 
That didn't approve? Hmm, I don't know. Or I'd like to. Earthshake, Earthshake. You were never gonna hold a banquet for us, you liar. Son. What the fuck was that? You had to. You, can, like, you, you, you walk so far. He's the fucking prince, right? Get move, bitch. Shoot him. Shoot him. No, we can't shoot him. You actually care? Escape where? What are we escaping to, bro? Noriko. Probably the bunny girl, right? Because they have intuition, right? My sex slave, the bunny chief. Please let her be dressed. You can hear the shackles. Oh my. Another slave, never mind. Noriko. Is that a Japanese name? Wait, 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 wait. Noriko is a Japanese name. Does that matter? Is she. Ja There's no way she's a fucking Japanese person, like part of the SDF that fucking he. Took as a slave, right? There's no fucking shot, right? There's no fucking shot! <laughs> they oh, they kidnapped! In front of the fucking green people, you're gonna do that? This fucking idiot. He's even dumber than Pina. What is that dad thinking, dude? What did she say? Did she say kill him or kill me? Please spare me, okay. Yo! Yeah, get him! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> deserve! Nah. Fuck, fuck, fuck the political tension. They deserve that shit. What do you mean political tension? They fucking kidnapped the... They're gonna have a fucking Japanese person here as a slave. You're gonna bring that shit in when we're in the fucking Emperor's Palace with you. Like, what? That's fucking crazy. This dude is so fucking stupid. I can't believe he brought her in. Well, she... He knew though, he showed up and then he saw them and then he said bring Noriko in. <laughs> Get him, Itami. What a satisfying punch, bro. What a satisfying punch, bro. Wonder what would happen. I understand that she is Japanese and that we're supposed to save her. But like at the end of the day, she is like... A prisoner of war, right? So politically, are we just allowed to just take her? Would the emperor use this as an excuse to be like, oh, you can't just do that? I don't know. Man, I didn't even think that we had other people here. Straight up, I never thought there were other people here. Yeah. We have. You're laughing. You're laughing. What are you gonna do? Yo, ooh, you got your shield. Wow. Bop, bop. Huh? Fire at will. Oh! No shot. Oh my god, in front of the emperor. I'm sure the prince won't die, but the guards will probably, a couple of them will die, right? Oh, this is gonna be so good. And what is the emperor thinking right now, huh? The emperor's probably thinking, holy shit, my son is actually stupider than Pina Colada. I cannot believe you would fuck me like this. You were already late, Pina saw me first in bed, goddamn I hate her, and then you bring in a fucking Japanese slave in front of the Japanese people. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he has no idea what he's done wrong either. <laughs> or maybe the emperor wants this to happen. Like I said, you know, fuck the prince. Kuribash is so ready. <laughs> And you're dead. No bullets yet. Oh, I was at the fucking face. No guns? Oh, so satisfying. Dude, this shield is getting torn up like fucking paper. <laughs> but the Emperor's face is not changed. The Emperor's face has not fucking changed. He's locked in, bro. Straight up. The Emperor is fucking locked in. My son getting shot at?
<laughs> All part of the plan. <laughs> What's he doing? What is his endgame plan? What is he thinking? <laughs> Honestly, not really. I feel bad for the guards. The guards just have to do what the fucking shitty prince said. The prince should be the one that's shot at, dude. <laughs> Cowards, what about you? Oh my god. That is a... What about the people that didn't survive? How many of them were there? Oh my... Oh, it just gets worse! It... I didn't even think about that! There's more survivors and... <laughs> what are you gonna do? Say no? <laughs> Shoot at his feet! Yeah... Oh, the gloves are on! We're going full melee! Dude, he's got such a weight advantage too. Hey, we can show him the beauty of, you know, Japanese dental care. And give him fucking crown teeth, bro. A crown teeth for the fucking crown prince, huh? Kind of fucking fitting, don't you think? One fucking uppercut. Bop! I wish the bunny girl was watching this, man. I wish the bunny girl was watching <laughs> And then the emperor. Still locked in. Still locked in. No change. He's enjoying this, dude. His face has a change. Oh, 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 I think he actually enjoyed that beating, dude. Please. Where are they? Bunny girl. Let me give me the gun. Give me the gun! I've been waiting to kill this motherfucker myself! No, what if she's like? No, 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 no! You can't steal this from me! Or maybe she actually cares about him! What the fuck? What is this? There's a dude that got sent as a slave? Yo, we're gonna actually meet Hiroki? She actually cares about him! This is straight up Stockholm Syndrome, you're right. That's fucked up. Can't even matter at her, because she's so manipulated and twisted to the point where she's dependent on him without even realizing the abuse. She's fine with the abuse. This is what happens, man. You stick around in an abusive environment so long, that's all you know, and you start to rationalize in your head. You know, it's like, oh, at least he takes care of me, even though he fucking beats my ass up. This is what Ida Kochi wants Kate to be at the end? I don't know. Hopefully, the bunny girl has ulterior motives. Hopefully, she wants to finish him off too, but right now, kind of looking bad. Kind of looks like she's just defending him, man. Hopefully, there is a twist, though. <laughs> Pain quit my ass, dude. Oh, dude. We have so much leverage over them now. Oh, he talking! He talking! What's the weakness of Japan? What? And in the end, been destroyed by barbarians because they got too drunk on their own power. You love your people too much. The emperor is wise because he's cold and calculated to the point where he can fuck his own own people over for the sake of the empire. And he's saying Japan can't do that. <laughs> I wonder if this somehow relates to the prophecy where he was like you know by the time that the trade deals are gonna come to a halt the japan themselves will break them off right maybe it's because we it's for the sake of our own people hiroki is hiroki gonna become huge is he gonna be like a huge selling point where it's like all right you know we got hiroki as fucking leverage so because you love the japanese people so much this is your own weakness and in this example hiroki will be used to get a shitty deal i don't know Let's go with the 
Long bloody history that far surpasses yours. True. Pina's too ashamed to even look at the green people now. I feel so bad for Pina, dude. What the fuck did Pina do to deserve this shit? Got a shitty ass dad. At least the dad's ruthless and calculating. The brother just fucked everything up for Pina. Planes. Jet pilots. Oh my god, I cannot believe that we bombed this village, guys, with their fucking fighter pilots. I cannot believe we bombed these people. We gave them a little bit of freedom missiles. Oh, whoa, 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 who was that? What was that? He straight up. <laughs> this is basically one last, you know, sign of dominance. It was the Senate. There was no one probably in there, right? This is just like, um, I don't know. It, this is basically intimidation, right? This is like, all right, we had our little political talk. I don't think you're taking us too seriously. We're just going to drop a couple bombs here. Fuck your Senate. Now what? I want to see the reaction of the Empire, though, of the bombing. So, I really thought that this guy would become president, you know, PM, you know, our, our Tamura's friend. So, I keep saying Tamura, it's Itami. Why do I keep saying Tamura? Tamura isn't slime. Tamura doesn't exist anymore. Slime. Itami's friend, okay? Itami's friend. But this guy became PM. I guess maybe he'll become PM later? I don't know. He's already kind of high up, right? Influencing this guy. But they're too stupid to understand the message. <laughs> Remember episode uh, two in the beginning when we saw the empire? This is the place where you know it's the Senate, right? This is the where they had their political meetings. And now it's just hey, it's got a nice view, man. We got we got a nice sky. The weather is so beautiful. We did them a favor. It was all too dark and gloomy in there, man. We got the the, the sun the, the sun shining now. Bald. Oh wait. What's the narrative? True. Bald. Yeah, slaves, yeah. Hiroki's still out there, man. True. True, they treat them well. They, in this modern era, they treat them well. No, but you guys might. Now. I'm not sure if there's any Japanese people watching this, but uh, if you've done any history lessons back in the day, everyone was doing war crimes, you know, prisoners of war, uh, horrific things, horrific things that I cannot describe, you know, I would get demonetized, this video get banned, but in, in this current modern Japan, right, in this current modern Japan, this modern version of Japan we're seeing, they do treat their prisoners of war very nicely. <laughs> and then we bombed this shit. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Deserved. Because that's the only way for peace for you fuckers. Why would you not want to side with them? You like they're, they're, It's not about siding or not. Like it's 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 a survivor die, right? It's like what are you gonna do? You can oppose them. You can just fucking like, you can't compete. You've seen what they can do. They should be so happy. We don't forcefully take everything. I cannot believe that bunny girl is doing this shit. <laughs> What you thinking? Oh, 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 other brother, other brother. What do you think, Diablo? Is he actually pretending to be a fool? No, I don't give him the benefit of that doubt. That would be a crazy plot twist if Zozal was straight up actually playing the role as a fool intentionally. There's no shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying it straight up. Stepbrother Kati got tortured? Does... What the f... 
Emperor lore. Emperor lore. Father was young back then. There was a stepbrother, Kati, that was tortured to death. And father was young back then. And? Thus he feared the child the previous emperor left behind. So, in hopes that he wouldn't dethrone himself, he killed him. Tortured a fucking child. Family, stepbrother, what the fuck? Damn. Are you really playing the fool? You're just being the fool. It says birthright, right? Puppet emperor, because he doesn't want to lose control. He needs to retire during the war. Zolzan is a perfect puppet to play that role. At least he's aware. He's actually aware, huh? Two others. That does not, not just that Hiroki, there's two others. Hiroki's still alive? <laughs> what are you gonna, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna fucking, are they gonna say the truth? Or are they gonna have like some person roleplay as Hiroki be like, Hi! What was you are? Nihonjin this? You know, and they're like, hmm, I, I, I don't think you're really, are you Hiroki really? Uh, I don't think you're Hiroki, right? What are they gonna do? Fucking have a dupe? Like, you can't do it. There's another Japanese person, though. There's another survivor. There's two survivors, though. <laughs> just, they can just force the other survivors to say he's Hiroki. <laughs> Make them think you were part of the Dove faction. Who was the Dove faction right now? But intentionally giving him in makes them think that he was a part of the Dove faction. Peace? Peace faction. My Japanese is good. That was my Gaijin accent. That was my uh, Gaijin uh, <laughs> Japanese accent from uh, watching uh, Tomo-chan as a girl, Carol, right? Carol speaks uh, the Gaijin English, huh? He's all of a sudden kind of being nice. I Not only did you save her from being sure. Are, are, am I really supposed to believe that this is a good guy? Really? Am I, I? I look at the fucking marks on your face. You're already beat up from him. Like, what do you mean? That's a crazy level of glazing. That's crazy. I really hope she has other plans. Because if not, she fucking deserves this, dude. The bunny girl, again, if she doesn't have ulterior motives and she's the one that wants to kill him. If she's not in it for the long, long con, like, she deserves this fucking abuse, dude. Fuck you. Even Diablo thinks this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Are we getting a Chuka? <laughs> this is Chuka. It's not even Chuka all over it because it hasn't even happened yet. She'll probably acknowledge it, but it's like, Oh, my family's alive. They're just not picking up the phone because they're alive. They're too busy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. First Chuka, now Noriko! They got shot down, yeah? That's crazy! If they showed this in episode one, oh my god! They, they, they told us from the fucking beginning! One fucking frame of a missing poster! This woman is missing, Noriko. That's crazy. Hi. Oh, don't tell her yet. She, she just fucking shows up. I heard all that. Yeah. Thank you so much. I can finally go meet my family. Wow. Oh no, the other girl. Where's dad? Where's dad? You. <laughs> what, a, what a what a random fucking cliffhanger. I thought, okay, okay, today's episode was pretty good. Yo, this episode was fucking lit. I love episodes like this where it's like 
there's a character you fucking hate and they set us up to for less just us to get revenge right it's like oh my god it's like everyone's like please this fucking shitty prince please someone just kill this motherfucker we didn't kill him we didn't kill him but goddamn we had a good excuse to fucking take them out huh i cannot believe they fucking foreshadowed noriko being missing in the first episode through that wanted poster man is there an ending scene there's no way there's an ending scene right there's no way Ending scene. Anyways, go back to the go back to the outro. I can't believe they fuck. What was I talking about? We're talking about Noriko about how they foreshadowed it and how the prince is so shitty and Kuribayashi honestly gets a lot of love in this show. Kuribayashi is fucking amazing, bro. And Kuroka <laughs> is getting a little bit more screen time, but like Kuribayashi just being able to be in the front lines and kind of being like Gitami's like main mercenary, pretty sick, man. Dub Kuribayashi. Seeing their shield just get torn through like paper mache, dude. Just sucking nothing compared to our guns. Even the sound of the guns, right? It's too loud. So they're like covering their ears in fear, dude. And this piece of shit gets knocked out. One fucking uppercut and then pound town like it's fucking Geld versus, you know, that shitty Isekai character. Show Shogo or something from Reincarnate the Slime. But the most interesting part is the fucking Emperor, dude. The Emperor just like held his face the entire time. It's as if everything is according to his plan. He never seems angry. He never seems... Well, he often seems disappointed. But he has the same stoic like, expression. Even if the Senate's fucking bombed. Even if the Senate's fucking bombed. Bro was just sitting on the throne like nothing. It's just like another fucking Tuesday to him. What is he thinking? He said that when the trade deal, sorry, the peacemaking kind of comes to a halt. Japan themselves will back off. And we got a little bit more hint on how that might happen because Japan loves their own people too much. Somehow, this is going to be a foil in our peace treaty negotiation. Or maybe he's just talking shit. Maybe he's just fucking capping, bro. You know, the prince might suck. Pino might be a little fucking dumb. Diablo seems intelligent, but he's probably a scumbag. But I still love the emperor. He's a very fascinating character to me. One of the most interesting characters for sure in this show. And on this talk of Noriko and Chuka's dad. They ain't coming back. He went for a pack of smokes. They ain't coming back. All right. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.